guys, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I wanted to do a quick one on this new BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes collection. I just got it in the mail today, so I was just really excited to share it with you guys. And when I posted this on Instagram last week, I just had so many responses asking me to do a video. I feel like when it comes to these collections from BH Cosmetics, I already know what the formula is like. I usually buy these when they come out. I love the formula. I think it's amazing. And so it's less about the formula at this point and more about just showing you guys the color and some swatches and anything that I might have similar in my collection. Um, so I pretty much got everything. I got the two palettes. One's called Avocado Toast and one is called Mimosa. And then I also got two face palettes. And this is kind of something new from them because normally they do a blush palette, but it's like three blushes, three highlighters. This time, I really like what they did. They came out with one that's all blushes and then one that is highlighters and bronzers. So a little something different. And I like this more because a lot of times I'm not really interested in highlighter and I love that you can just get a blush palette with six blushes. I think that's really, really cool. And then they also have, which kind of reminds me a little bit of ColourPop, these little Weekend Vibes duos of lip glosses. So one of them has like more neutral colors in it and the other one has brighter fun colors. So um, why don't we go ahead, we'll open everything up and talk about each thing individually. I'm also wearing a lot of these products on my face today, so why don't we go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palettes. These are $18 each, which I think is a slight increase from what they were before. I wanna say previous collections had them at $16, but um, anyway, the first one, let's start with Mimosa, and this one has really, really pretty pinks in it. You also have the pop of yellow. You have a little pop of orange right here. It's not a completely pink palette, but there is a lot of pink going on. So pink isn't always my cup of tea, but there are also some neutrals mixed in here as well. So I feel like I could tone down the looks if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches and I'll read you the description from the website. It says, raise a glass to brunch inspired beauty with the vegan Mimosa 16 color eyeshadow palette. It's filled to the brim with warm neutrals, sparkling metallics, and ultra pink pigmented pops of peaches, pinks, and reds. The velvety matte and lustrous shimmer finishes blend like a dream and last forever to keep bottomless going strong all day long. So just like their previous collections, I felt like this swatched really beautifully. It's so super pigmented and foiled and metallic when it comes to the shimmers. They feel very buttery, very soft. There's a little bit of fallout, but I don't find BH Cosmetics shadows to be ultra powdery, so I feel like they have really good grip when you apply them to your eyes, yet they blend nicely as well. So they're that really perfect middle ground between being not too powdery and also not too dense or difficult to pick up. So when it comes to similar palettes in my collection, I was digging through and I really couldn't find anything that I have that looks similar to this one, mainly because I usually avoid pinks when it comes to eyeshadows. But I was also thinking in my head that this looks so much like something and I remembered what it was. And this isn't a palette that I have, but I'll go ahead and put a picture of it up on the screen. It's the Violet Voss Coral Palette. I think these have such similar vibes. They have the pop of yellow and all those bright pinks. So I think if you already have the Coral Palette from Violet Voss, you may not feel like you need to run right out and purchase this one. I think they're close enough. Next up, let's talk about Avocado Toast. This is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I just couldn't resist this one. I love green eyeshadows, but I felt like this was kind of a unique combination because it's not only green, but you also have some neutral colors in here. You have this pop of pink, which is sort of interesting, and also this deep kind of rose gold, almost like coppery pink shade, I think is so stunning, and it kind of plays off the green really nicely. I also like how there's some brighter greens in here mixed with some deeper, more olive -y tones. So on my eyes, today what I used um, was this shade right here which is called paprika in my crease and then I use this one on my lid called green juice which is just so beautiful and then I lined my eyes and deepened up the outer corner with this deep chocolatey brown shade called pit and I just love the way it came out I think it's so pretty and like I said these shadows were so easy to work with and blend I really enjoy this formula so much so let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches and the description on the website for this one says indulge in a feast of delish eye looks with this vegan 16 color eyeshadow palette featuring perfectly ripened green hue creamy earth tones and flattering neutrals the shadows range from rich matte to shimmer finishes to satisfy all your cravings whether you keep it low-key natural or dramatically extra 
So when it comes to similar palettes in my collection, I do have a couple because I really love green eyeshadow. So the first one I thought this looked very similar to is the Emeralds palette from Profusion. This is $5 and I just felt like they have very similar vibes going on because the Profusion one has some of those brighter greens mixed with the deeper olivey greens and it also has that sort of rusty brown matte shade. The biggest difference between the two I would say is that the Emeralds palette has some golds in it while the Avocado Toast one doesn't. But if you already have the Emeralds palette you might feel like it's a little too close to this one another one I think it's very similar to is the secret palette from Focalore this one also has that mix of the brighter greens and the deeper ones and this one is also an all green palette you don't have the pink in this one or that rusty brown shade you actually don't have any brown shades at all but again if you're buying the avocado palette mainly for the greens and you already have the Focalore one you might find quite a few similarities between the two all right, so moving on to the face palettes, I feel like I'm even more excited about these than I am about the eyeshadow palettes. So first, let's start with the Bellini one. This is so stunning. When it comes to a blush palette, it's just so summery and bright and beautiful. They're just like these really juicy, punchy shades, which are really fun. And they give you two lighter ones, two mid-tones, and then two deeper ones as well. So you can kind of adjust, like, even though these look a little too deep for me, I think if I just pick up a little bit on my brush, I'll be okay. Whereas these, I might build up a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches. And the description on the website says, Give your complexion life with this vegan six-color blush palette inspired by the bubbly brunch cocktail. The silky peach and coral hues are perfect for every skin tone and glide seamlessly for a sweet sun-kissed flush. In these matte and shimmer shades, you'll look hydrated and extra fresh, even if you've had one too many. Now, when it comes to the formula of these powders, these are ultra silky. They must be very finely milled because they just blend so effortlessly. They feel amazing just to the touch. Even when I was swatching them, I was blown away by how smoothly they glide across my skin. And on my drier, more mature skin, powders can sometimes look powdery. Like you can actually tell when you look up close that there's powder sitting on there. And these do not look like that at all. It looks like I'm not wearing anything, like that the blush is just sort of coming from within. So I am very, very impressed with this formula. I absolutely love it. Um, also, the Belgian Waffle Palette, this is the one that has the bronzers and highlighters in it. So the three bronzers are on the top. You have a really, really light one, which almost like it wouldn't even be a bronzer for me, and I'm pretty fair, but it kind of reminds me, it has like a satiny sort of finish, and in a way, it reminds me a little bit of like Laura Geller's French Vanilla Highlighter, where it has that slight sheen to it. It's more of like a low glow. And you could probably almost use this as like a brightening powder. And then this bronzer in the middle here is like the perfect tone for me. It's kind of more on the cool tone side, but it's not a gray contour shade. And then you have a warmer one right here. And then you have these three highlighters as well, which are really like buttery and creamy feeling. The bronzers feel just like the blushes. And I took this middle shade here and I put it all over my face. Like I didn't do the number three like I usually do. I just wanted to warm up my whole complexion. And it is very rare that I can dust a powder all over my face, but these just felt so silky. I thought, you know what, let me try it. And when I look up close in the mirror, it looks like I'm not wearing any powder on my face. And normally I never wear powder. I don't set my under eyes or anything. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at swatches. And the description says, our vegan six color baked bronzer and highlighter palette features irresistible warm and cool tone blends with buttery matte and glistening shimmer finishes for all skin tones. Get lit with a simple sweep onto the jawline, cheeks, chin, and nose. Decadently delicious, no syrup needed. All right, so then last but not least, we have these two lip gloss duos. There's Chai Latte and Bloody Mary. So I'm actually wearing um, one of the ones in the Chai Latte kit today, and it's just a clear gloss with some like shimmer and sparkle in it. It's this one right here so it kind of has a little bit of a peachy tone but when you put it on your lips it's mostly just sparkle but the other one is a really cool tone pink and I have kind of a peachy vibe going on between my eyes and my cheeks oh that reminds me I didn't even tell you which blush I'm wearing um, so I'm using just peachy right here which is this middle one so anyway back to the lip glosses I'm wearing this one which is called extra foam but I put another color underneath it since this one's clear so let me just go into my drawer here 
So underneath it, I'm wearing the Balm's Creamy Lip Stain in Ola, and then I just topped that with this one. So let's go ahead and look at some swatches. I'll show you them on my skin first, and then we'll go ahead and do lip swatches as well. So according to the website, these lip duos feature one creamy color saturated gloss plus one radiant shimmer gloss with sparkle. The plush doe foot applicator offers one swipe application, depositing the perfect amount of gloss for comfortable wear and a mirror like finish, leaving you with a fuller, softer, more lustrous pout in seconds. So I am absolutely loving the formula of these glosses as well. They're totally non-sticky. They feel really hydrating on the lips they have incredible amount of shine like when you first put them on it's like whoa they're just glassy kind of mirror like shine going on and um, even though I'm only wearing like one of the clear ones with the sparkle in it it was just incredibly sparkly right off the bat so it kind of made my lips have that illusion of looking a little bit fuller which I really really liked and they do have a scent but it's this really delicious like vanilla scent like it smells like a cookie or a cupcake it makes me want to eat it so if I have to have a fragrance in my lip gloss I usually prefer something like that over something fruity or floral and because these are glosses they're not going to be something super long lasting they are going to wear off and it's something that you're going to need to reapply throughout the day but if you like a really shiny lip gloss that helps your lips look a little bit plumper and is totally non-sticky I think these are an awesome choice all right guys, so that's the whole collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, I would love to hear from you in the comments as always and just hear your thoughts on these. Did you order any of them or are you planning to? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys, bye.